This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the reactions of benzene. So we'll start with a quick review of the structure of benzene. The Kekul structure of benzene consists of alternating carbon to carbon single and double bonds. So here we can see the two resonance structures of benzene. As we can see, they have alternating carbon to carbon single and carbon to carbon double bonds. The actual structure of benzene is a resonance hybrid structure with equal bonds that are intermediate in length and strength between a single and a double bond. On the right, we have the symbol for benzene. In the benzene molecule, the carbon to carbon bonds are of equal length and equal strength. This ring indicates the presence of delocalized pi electrons, which give benzene its stability. So as the benzene molecule does not contain carbon to carbon double bonds, it does not readily undergo addition reactions. Benzene undergoes electrophilic substitution reactions in which a hydrogen atom is replaced by an incoming group. An electrophile is a species which is electron deficient. It can either be a positive ion or have a partial positive charge. Here we can see the general reaction of benzene with an electrophile. The electrophile is attracted to the electron-rich benzene ring. In the products, we can see that the electrophile has replaced a hydrogen atom in the benzene molecule. Next, we'll have a look at some reactions of benzene. So benzene reacts with chlorine to produce chlorobenzene. Here we have the reaction of benzene with chlorine in the presence of aluminium chloride to produce chlorobenzene and hydrogen chloride. Here we have the equation for the reaction. Benzene can also react with bromine to produce bromobenzene and hydrogen bromide. Benzene also reacts with a nitrating mixture, which is a mixture of concentrated nitric and concentrated sulfuric acid to form nitrobenzene. So here we have the reaction of benzene with concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid to produce nitrobenzene and water. And here we have the overall equation for the reaction.